I want to find out if it is worth paying that extra money to get something of good quality that's going to last longer than something of inferior quality that is uh, cheaper. And the old adage, buy, buy, buy cheap, buy twice. Well, let's put that theory to the test. So can you tell which one is the, uh, the genuine article here? Both say Rafa on them, but which do you think it is? Do you think it's this one in this, this cheap plastic that's, that's probably going to end up in, a, in an ocean somewhere, choking a, a baby tortoise or something? Or do you think it's this nice soft stuff that's probably just as dangerous to a tortoise, but it does have some nice writing on it, so... You know, every cloud. And you might know, oh look, this also comes with a, uh, what looks like a gift card, but, but is it? Let's take a look. Oh, that is expensive. That's luxury. Performance roadwear. So what we're comparing is two pairs of Rafa. They're not both Rafa. One says Rafa on it. The one here is genuine Rafa. Rafa. I, obviously, I need to delete this, so make sure you do that pretty on in the edit. But here you can see on the uh, on the note, there is no price because they don't want to uh, remind you of how much money you spent in the Rafa shop. So we've got pro team socks here in a nice... Based solely on, on this bit here, I'm going with these. Better packaging, but I am paying a premium for that. But it is nice packaging. Let's crack that packaging open. Look at that, beautiful. That could almost be a reusable bag. However, it's not. The quality here continues. Nice, um, nicely uh, designed um, sock. What's one of, what do you call this? A garment tag, I guess. And on the other side here, we've got the worst sounding plastic ever. If you've got a phobia about that, then that's gonna sound horrible. And there we go. That's your lot. And then we've got team socks there, so... Yeah. Medium, yellow, made in Italy. Um, they're made of 50% Merrill Skin Life, 25% Nylon, 25% Elastane. I should get a... I should get scissors for that. So I spent 15 quid on these, right? Already, one big advantage that these have that these don't is they don't now have a hole in them where they put these little... What's the point in spending all that money on these and then putting holes in them? I've got bloody holes in my socks already! The frig! And that has now caught on that. So that's already put a pull in it. I'm already annoyed. Look, there is now a pull in this sock because of that stupid thread. Oh my God. This is another bit of unnecessary packaging. All right, so look at the cut as well. Let's just take a, a second to, to notice the difference in cut. <laughs> this looks I mean, I know that this is a, a better sock in terms of price and quality. Look at that, that's nice inside there. Again, you're paying for that detailing. Do you need it? Not really. You're not paying for a premium for that white stuff there, are you? Let's get these on and test them. First off, I'm gonna take these Rafa socks. You know on the internet when they had that dress that was either black or white or golden white or brown and blue or whatever? What colour is this? Because looking through the lens, this is a luminous yellow, a bright yellow. When I look at them out of the lens, they're, it's almost a mustard colour. They seem to be so... I don't know. Anyway, no way. I didn't even know that. Alright, so you're paying for that as well. So, first wash of the Rafa socks, and they went in with some dark colours, and they've come out all right. They've come out all right. They've come out shaped still. They uh, they look good. They just they just look they just look luminous on the lens. So, 
First wash for Rafa, all good. All right, so, first impression of uh, the Rafa socks, and they're actually pretty good, actually. Um, I don't know if that's because I know that they're Rafa socks and I know how much I paid for them, but they were comfy. They didn't have those, you know, you know that little bit in the seam where it sometimes digs into your little toe because it's really thick right at the end where they've knotted it. Didn't get any of that. Um, pretty tight to put on, but this like band in the middle, that feels nice. Already got a stain on them by the looks of it. I did an hour in them on the trainer. Uh, and another thing, right? You know my bond shoes, those horrible manky bond shoes. I've put some new insoles in them after having a bike fit. And ever since then, every time I put a pair of socks on, I've always found my original socks to be too thick. Like these ones, for instance, feel quite thick compared to those um, raffers. So how I'm gonna be, uh, how comfy I'm gonna be in there, I, I just don't know. So I'm gonna use these for my race today and see how I get on with them. But these have got that nice band as well, so. Oh, it don't feel as, it don't feel as much tension in the cheap one. So it's been two weeks since I started my cheap versus expensive experiment and the results are in. And uh, I wanted to come at you and say, you know, don't waste your money on 15 pound socks and don't waste your money on expensive gear because the cheap stuff is just as good. It probably comes out of the same factory. They just badge it up differently, but no. The Rafa socks are head and shoulders above the, uh, the cheap fakies. I've been wearing them both for the past two weeks on and off. I'll ride with one, wash them, ride with the other, wash them. And the reason is that the, uh, the fakies are too thick. The biggest difference between the two is, is airflow. Now you wouldn't think that that would be such a big thing, but with the fake socks, my feet have just been overheating all the time and there's just no air getting to them, even when I've got my fan on my feet. So that's the main reason I've, I've, I've gone for the raffers over them. That being said, today I've got the raffers on and they're, uh, well, it's colder than I thought. So the airflow is too much today. But also I've washed the, I've washed both socks the same amount of times and already the, uh, the fake is a losing color. And check this pair out here, these, are a pair I've had for probably three months now. Out of the same factory of the fake is just a different brand on them. And uh, you, well, you can see, they look disgusting. So I've got to hand it to them. Rafa, good socks. So look here, check these out. So these socks here uh, were the same color as those Rafa's from the same person who supplied them on Wish and, um, oh, they've just lost all, they just look disgusting now, don't they? So you've seen what the two Rafa's look like together. Look at what these two look like together. This, this is this. Look how long my finger looks. This is disgusting. So there you go. We're just comparing the the cheapest. Well, technically it's a free sock. You can't get any cheaper than free. You're just paying for your postage. I understand what they're doing there, but I'm enticed by free. Um, comparing them to the one of the most expensive socks in the form of the Rafa socks, and there's no competition. You do get what you pay for when it comes to that. It'd be interesting to see what you think out there as to the, the mid-range socks, anywhere between five and let's say 12 pound. What are your favorite socks in that price range? What really stand out as some of the best quality socks that you can get in that price range? It'd be interesting to know what everybody else is wearing as well. Um, so leave a comment down below and let me know what your favorite sock is. So for the next video in this series, I'm gonna buy the cheapest, the cheapest cycling clothing I can. I want a full outfit and I wanna try and do it as cheap as I can. I wanna see how good the quality is on that. I know you've just seen me confirm the fact that buying cheap isn't a great idea. However, I wanna try and buy a full cycling outfit. Socks, gloves, cycling shorts, cycling jersey, and a helmet, and see how cheap I can get it. Don't forget, if you've enjoyed this video, hit that thumbs up, leave your comments below, make sure you're subscribed, and as ever, hit that little notification bell so you know when we go live of our next stream, or when we drop our next video.